Like the last video, like I would count it as me like coming back, but I really didn't at the same time. Because even with the last video, the motivation, I was still struggling. Like that whole video took a struggle for me to even like put it together. But the fact that I got it together is pretty crazy. But look, before I continue and go on with this video, I just want to let you know, guys, I love you guys, and I'm thank you. I'm thank you for you supporting me. Let's I, let's get to 10k. After 10k, I know we aiming for the big boys, the 100 balls. <laughs> that 100 balls. <laughs> like, yo, bro. But I mean, like, this comeback, y'all, this certified comeback, it's a different type of energy, man. I'm hyped, I'm pumped up. But look, in this very same spot, we hit over 10k views yes. on a story time. Y'all my diggers, man. Oh, I would have prayed y'all my diggers, bro. Stay tuned. It's your boy, Chef Arrah. Boom, boom, boom. Y'all know how I start off my videos. I have to add the boom. Basically, I live in what you call, like, if you want to say the general area, I live in Flatbush. Flatbush, BK. Feel me? Not, I'm not obviously going to disclose where, but I live in Flatbush, BK. Do I jack it? Do I jack my hood? No, not really, because for some reason, even my girl, like everybody else besides me has a like a good experience with Flatbush, but Flatbush, like, I had some memories. I grew up in childhood, but my childhood and where my YouTube and all the energy and motivation really came from is in Crown Heights. Like that's like I call Crown Heights my hood because I know everybody there, that's like that's the people, like for me. So even like the, bro the bros I've been hanging with is from Crown Heights. I'm not from Femi. I'm not from there. I'm the only nigga out of the whole group in a different hood. And it's and, my, uh, and Vince. Anyways, so this story time is me losing my life, bro. I feel like if you're not from New York, if you haven't had like an experience, you damn near almost die. Like, feel me? And I'm not just talking natural causes. I'm just talking about like in danger. Because that's just how New York is. It's a city, it's fast life. No matter if you're in the rich part of Manhattan, some shit is gonna happen, at least once. So, boom. Basically, it all started with me, Swerve, uh, S Dog, Bobby Ski, and for me, J Dot. It's always, oh, that, that's the name you're gonna call them for me. I'm not gonna say too much if you know, you know. But we all shot a video or whatever, and I guess it, like, we was linking up as a group, so it was like every time we link up as a group, it's always lit. So if you link up as a group, feel me? We shoot the videos. Now we rewind and unwind. Everybody's like, let's shut the park. But in this known park, if you know, you know. It got three numbers. If you know, you know. I grew up playing basketball. I grew up doing everything in this park. We come to this park or whatever. Uh, I think we go. We stop at the store. So we go to uh, Big Head. Big Head is our deli name. We're gonna play this shit right here. But we go to we go to Big Head or whatever, come out. Now, I don't even know, like, I think I wouldn't even know if it was an argument or a conversation, but it was an on and off discussion on where should we go to fucking shoot a vid. I mean not to shoot a vid. Where to where should we go to chill out? For me, cause niggas is tired. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. YouTube takes a lot of energy. Like recording, sitting here in front of this camera. Throwing the energy, it takes a lot of energy. So we'll always have like some energy or be tired a little bit, especially like after the running around and stuff like that. And, and we don't have these and shit. So it makes it harder when you don't have cars. It hit different, feel me? 
<laughs> we do not care. It's two benches. It's like a, a bench seating area. Uh, like you, you know that. What's that shit called? Where you throw the ball off the wall? If y'all know what it is, leave it in the comments below. But it's a court behind that. It's that type of court behind the benches, and then it's the basketball court. So. As we all chill on the bench, we playing music, having a good time, laughing, giggling, or whatever. And T Dog, or Bobiski, you want to, however you want to call him, gets a call from his parents. His parents is bringing him down. He's like, "Yo, bro, you got to go to the crib." And now, like, he's the only person in the group that's so young. So we always like, we I gonna say we bully him, but we always make fun of him because like, "Yo, bro, you're growing, bro. Why do you still have to go home this early, bro? You need help, literally." He called, he's like, yo, I gotta go. So everybody, like, we love, we love Bob Yeeski's energy so much that we fucking, like, we, we don't like him. We don't like him to leave early, but we know he has to, so we don't want to get him in trouble. BMW man's like, if your man's gotta leave, your man's gotta leave. Do not advise your man's to stay and get his ass beat and he can't come out the next day, feel me? Y'all, oh man's, y'all not even think of it. Y'all gotta put yourself on other people's shoes, side outside. side. Feel me? See, y'all, my, my girl called, hold on. Say hi, hey, say hi to the camera, man. Hi. If he can't stay outside, are we gonna go back in the crib? No, cause who the fuck is this nigga for us to stay outside? So he gets up, he dops all of us up, and we like, all right, cool. Um, chilling, go back to normal. I told Tim, call me when he gets inside. There's swings on this side, back. Like I already told you the whole geography of the shit, but there's swings on the left side. S dog. Fucking Jada and Swerve all go to the swings and leave me at the bench. Now I'm chilling at the bench and I'm on my phone, I think on TikTok or whatever. The call from Bobiski. I'm like, Bobiski, why are you even calling me right now? What the fuck? He literally, his crib, like the park is right here. His crib is literally around the corner. Like he doesn't have to go that far. So I'm like, yo, bro, why are you calling me? He calls me, he's like, I'm like, bro, what? Yo, when your man's call you saying your name three times, you not not just Ra, your gov your, your government name three times, and something is up because usually in my group, I don't know if about y'all, I don't call my man's by their government name. We have like nick nicknames or we say a th name and abbreviation or whatever. Calls my name three times, I'm like, yo, bro, what's up? Like, bro, fucking gang members just stopped me, bro, and just pressed me and asked what set I am, bro. I told him I couldn't even say anything. I just told him like I I'm from Queens. Like what? He said, I was like, how many of them niggas? He like, bro, I don't even know, bro. It was like 50 of them niggas. I'm like, 50? Bro, were you telling me 50 niggas generated and spawned around the corner while you were trying to go home, bro? So, obviously, as a black nigga myself, I'm thinking he's capping, feel me? And this is all going like, my dude, my sock, I'm like, that's dog and everything, all at the swings in and shit. I'm not even fucking, like, I, I'm not even, I, I wouldn't even say I'm not, like, near them, but they can't hear the conversation that me and Tim's having, and... I'm not even having a reaction to it. So I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Like, next thing you know, I hear, yo, a, a, a good shit in New York, not even good shit, a, a tip in New York, like if you move moving into New York, if if it's in a gang, gangs like to do this thing where they call the opposite sex, like, like no, let's say if I was blood, but I'm looking for a crip nigga. Like, yo, what's cracking? Yo, what's up, cuz? You know, like, I'm, for me, I'm on that type of time, but in reality, I'm not, I'm the whole different set. It's like the Trojan horse type shit, but in fucking New York version. I don't say the exact, the exact group name, but it's Ape versus Hat Niggas. Feel me? If you're in New York, do your homework on Apes and Hat Niggas. Like, two different blood tests. I don't even know why Bloods is beefing with each other, because really, in California, it's really Blood versus Crip, I'm pretty sure. I didn't, I didn't know it was like Hat, Ape, Mac, all types of bullshit being going on. But, that's just what it is. So, it's Ape and Hat Niggas. And on top of it, with these hat niggas, they don't fuck with certain crip niggas that the eight niggas fuck with. So, and in the two hoods, so it's like, I don't even know. Like, it's New York is really different. Like, Brownsville is split into two. Fucking East New York is mixy. All types of places in New York is mixy. But the two hoods that these people beef with is Brownsville and the area that I'm in. Yo, bro, what are you talking about? All I hear is, yo, what's cracking? Hey, yo, Sam. Like, hey, yo, Sig, nigga, I read the Bible, nigga, what the fuck are you talking about, hey, yo, Sig, I don't even know what Crip is, my favorite color is red, not even blue, but I'm not even gonna say that either, because they blood too, so I'm not even gonna, feel me, even put that in there. I mean, it's all the way over there, these niggas is literally behind me, they're like, yo, bro, don't run, don't run, how are you 
ain't gonna tell me don't run and I'm walking like this. So mind you, I should have just ran because it's fucking 20 of y'all niggas. You gonna tell me not to run. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Stay? Catch me, nigga. Please. Okay. Okay, them niggas like, yo, bro, don't run, don't run. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Like, shit. I'm looking at these niggas. Yo, my son swerved. The nigga took a heap out of swing. The nigga took a step back. And I can see it. I can see it in his face. He like analyzing the situation. He like, nah, what the fuck? And I can't fucking turn around. I can't keep turning around because I look even more like a pussy. Because it's 20, 25 niggas behind me. And I'm just like this. Keep walking. Keep walking. And I asked, so I regroup with them. These niggas start coming in the park. But the thing is, it would have been a difference if niggas really jacked some shit. I always get caught lacking by our ops, but I'm in my head sitting there thinking, I'm like, yo, bro, I just shot some fire video, bro. Out of all the times, this is how I'm about to go out. I swear to God on my mother, bro. I'm like, bro, this is how I'm really about to go out. I don't even jack shit, bro. Like, I feel like personally, like, the niggas who really be on that type of timing, if you catch a body and that's not your op and that's a civilian, you're a loser. Like, you automatically lose points. And, and that's what I was thinking in my head. Niggas is pulling up in city... I'm gonna put it right here. City electron, electronic bikes. The purple, the, the new white shit. Fast shit. Not tech, techs up. Nike techs. If you don't know, Nike techs is really a thing in New York City. Nike tech up. Knocks in the Nike tech on the city bike like this. And that's and that's the first five row. It was like a fucking army battalion. Like, first five row, you can tell was the hitters. You got niggas who really beat on niggas. Then you got more niggas with knocks. So it was like they was in rows. And it is only, it is only four of us, 25 niggas with poles. So that's like 25 niggas times like 15 knocks. It's like 335,000. Yeah, y'all get what I'm saying? Like, y'all. Got <laughs> my hand under my, uh, my shirt, like pump faking, I, like I'm towing shit. I took my hand out <laughs> because it's like, yo, bro. I'm pump faking and I really like, it's not even like I even got my knife on me. I don't have nothing on me. I think it is like, well, I would say, what's the, what's the height? I say he was like 5'4", five, 5'3", five, short nigga. You know who he looked like for my New York niggas? Some nigga named Bloody. If y'all, he had that OI nigga. Some short ass nigga, big ass afro. He's like, he's like, yo, where y'all from? Me and my son swear I said Queens. I said. I work in Queens, so I'm like, shit, I work in Rosedale. I mean, I live in Rosedale, Queens. He's like, why you out here? Nigga, Jada was about to say, yo, uh, uh, we was out here smoking. Me, me and Swerve was like, nah, we just out here catching the vibe. We chilling and shit. Like, we ain't doing nothing crazy. Like, he asking his questions. My man, to mind you, y'all. Y'all know my cameraman, bro. Y'all know it's a female and shit like that. My man's, the, the nigga goes up to my man's. S dog, she's in her hoodie, looking down, and it's like, my son S dog not pussy, but at the end of the day, it's still like 25 niggas, and at the end of the day, she's still a female. So regardless of how strong she is, it's like still like, feel me? We got somebody on our hands, like it. And to be honest, I'm with here, man. I ain't saying that my mans can't fight. But realistically, who's putting the most pain is me and Jada. I'm gonna keep the whole band with you. Like, that, that, that's just how I picture it. Like, if, if it was to come to that. But even if we would lose. Like, so he's like, what y'all jack? He's like, he's like, y'all yeah, Leo? Y'all Leo? Like, Leo. He's like, what's that? What's Leo? He's like, oh, you, you fuck with cuz? You crap? You crap? Y'all rolling? I'm like, nah. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I, 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 I'm smacked too. So I'm like, Gangsta, bro. I don't even know what that is, bro. I'm keeping it band with you. What, bro? I was like, so then, as I'm looking, as Swerve and them is having a conversation, so that's what I was doing. I fucking ended off while Swerve and them was having a conversation, literally staring at the nigga with knots. Because, bro, in New York, bro, back then, it really used to be fist fighting. Now it's really niggas toting on, like, poles, bro. 15-year-olds, 14-year-olds toting on guns, bro. It is so easy to buy a gun out here. Like, I cannot, like, nigga down the block might have a gun, bro. I'm just looking at him. I'm like, yo, bro, he's really about to pull this knockout on me, and it's really about to be game over, bro. Looking, looking. He's like, yo, bro, you good? 
I'm like, yeah, nah. I'm like, nah, bro. I'm good, bro. I'm just feel me, trying to take everything in. I don't know, I'm like, feel me. I don't even be on that shit. So, swear up, looking at me, and it was just a, a like five minutes of silence, bro. Not saying anything. Like we just looking at each other. And it, it, it got to a point where it was so quiet that I was able to get a quick glimpse of the whole entire crowd. Like, yo, this these people these people are the shooters. These people will be capping out their ass. They not really on shit. They just with the crowd. And this little nigga in front of me is the fucking ringleader. Cause every time, like even when they pulled up, all these little all these niggas is behind this one little nigga, bro. I'm like, yo, what the f Hey yo, no disrespect to, to, to anybody in this video. Like if you were in this moment and y'all y'all were the people that was trying to fucking almost end my life, look, I want no harm. I'm just telling the story. Like I said, not an FBI, neither am I an informant. To S Dog, he's like, yo, um, he's like, oh, who this? He was like, yo, she type cute. I look at fucking swerve, I'm like, nah, this nigga got no morals. This is a whole for me a stud. She like girls, bro. Like, can you, can you not see that, bro? Like, does, does that look like a like a, a girl who like identifies herself as a girly girl? Like, do you not like what, bro? Like, for me, I know I know Brody was on that type of time and like, and, and based off looking at these niggas, I could I don't know. I don't really know it's about like that. So for me, but I'm looking at swear. I'm looking at Jada. I'm like, yo, this nigga is trying to spit game mid during the drill. Come here, say it. You know, niggas is different. I, I can't even explain to you what the nigga was doing personally. But I'm like, yo, bro. Yo, bro, that's a, for me, that's a whole stud, bro. She does not like, for me, you, that's, she doesn't like niggas, bro. So I guess at first he didn't hear what I was saying. He started like, yo, what? What, bro? What? I'm like, bro, you don't want, you don't want that. Trust me, bro. That's not, for me. I'm like, she, he like, yo, take off the hoodie. As the dog took off the hoodie, he like, oh, nah, his man's in the fucking back. Nah. Why you bugging out, buzzing? I'm like, yo, I'm, in my head, I'm like, nah, this nigga's for me. That's the problem with y'all niggas. Y'all gotta, gotta get y'all some pussy. That's probably why I be doing these drills, bro. Y'all niggas is unhappy with y'all selves right now. You really like, you, out of old people, why you chose on that, on that night to do the drill? To come try to look for another nigga and you found a dyke and you trying to kill him. Not murk physically, but you trying to, <laughs> Niggas is starting to get heated because they un he doesn't understand what I'm saying to him. And niggas is clutching. Nigga in a ski mask with a tech comes through the crowd. It's like, wait, 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 hold on, y'all, hold on, y'all. Like, right, yo, points out swear. He's like, oh, I know this nigga. I'm like, yo, we, we dad used to who? I said, swerve. Yo, this nigga swerve that the nigga up. It was like, yo, it's been a minute, bro. I'm like, Nah, I like swear this nigga swerved to save us. Then the nigga points at me. He's like, "Oh, this is YouTube, nigga. Yo, these niggas do YouTube, bro. We got the wrong niggas, like, and these niggas not like they don't do shit, bro. He's like, nah. He's like, nah, bro. They don't even be doing shit, but they do YouTube. I know these niggas. I like a swerve. He look at me. My whole the whole heart and adrenaline just. <laughs>